Welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy. I am a registered nurse. And on my channel, I talk about my experiences related to nursing and offer advice and encouragement based on those experiences. Today, I will be discussing how it has been working as an RN on the same unit I was once a CNA in. Stay tuned. <music> So I was hired as an RN into the unit that I used to work as a CNA. I was very excited about the opportunity. Going into it, I felt like I knew the team. I knew and experienced the culture of the unit and that people would embrace my new role. I also felt like since my colleagues at the time used to be CNAs, that I would have much better rapport with them and that we would relate with each other on a different level than compared to like other RNs who didn't have that same opportunity. And I believe that ultimately that would create a really great environment to work in. Now, to cut things short, when I became an RN, I hoped that I would get hired right away into the new role into the new position as an RN at the same hospital. I had to leave that job, get one year experience working as an RN, and then come back on that same unit. I hope that makes sense. When I came back, there were a lot of changes. There was new management and post-COVID, a lot of the nurses that I used to work with um, when I was a CNA were gone. The unit was almost unrecognizable with new faces and new processes. Anyways, the ones who knew me were happy to see me. Some were excited for me and my new role, while others didn't really give me that same vibe. And I chopped it up to be something in my head or that I was just like overreacting. So my first day uh, working on my own after the orientation period, I ended the shift crying and holding back tears. I remember in the med room, I was like looking for a MRSA swab to collect lab sample and I was crying and like holding back tears. It was just terrible. It was terrible. I'll make a separate video about that later. It was another nurse that I had previously worked with when I was a CNA who kind of seemed to have been looking for a chance to kick me while I was down. And after that, there had been instances where a couple CNAs that I used to work with would now be mad when I was delegating work to them or wouldn't do the work if I delegated. For example, I received a new admission. I needed help with moving the patient from the gurney to the hospital bed. I poked my head out of the door and saw that there was a CNA standing there talking and having a conversation with the unit secretary. It wasn't work related. They were just having a conversation. I politely asked uh, for help and the CNA literally said no. She said no. I was shocked. I was so shocked and embarrassed too because she did it in front of everyone at the nursing station. Man, like the pushback was too real, too real. And on top of that, I was also hearing all these other things but we move you know we move on so the question that one would have or one would pose is how do you deal with that as a person of faith my go-to is to pray I say pray I pray about the situation and pray whenever you know I step foot into the place of work I pray for God's guidance and protection over all the work that I do and for the people that I work with because with nursing, you never know what kind of day you're going to have. Secondly, I say be confident. Be confident in your new role. You have worked so hard and have earned the right to everything that comes with this new role. Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day and we all have the liberty to do with it as we please. So while there's nothing wrong with staying in your current position, you can't be mad at the next person who has worked really hard to change their situation around. 
I find comfort in knowing that they too have the same opportunity for growth. And third, don't be scared. Engage in those hard conversations with that individual who's giving you a hard time at work. Ask them what is the problem. Ask them what the problem is and try to find a solution to it. A lot of the times they try to be slick with it um, in that they do things, slight things to make your work hard without actually being upfront about giving you a hard time. Having a hard conversation with them lets them know like, hey, like I know, I know what you're doing, uh, that you are aware of what they are doing. But ultimately, the goal is to get to a solution to whatever the problem is. Next. I started to keep personal documentation with dates and and times, pertinent information, uh, because some of the things were starting to look like there was some malice intent to it. And to protect myself, I would send myself an email with all the pertinent information using my work email. It's actually a trick I learned on TikTok just to protect myself in case something did happen. To conclude, give it time. In time, they will realize that you are not the same person you were uh, when you were CNA. In their mind, you are still one of them. You're still a CNA. So how dare you uh, tell them what to do? That's probably what they're thinking. So being confident in the knowledge that you have acquired and in the work that you do will drive that force to change their perspective about you. So like if a patient needs something that is, not in their scope of practice best believe it's you the rn that they're going to have to call to deal with that and that in itself is a humbling experience for them so keep your head up and do what needs to be done to keep on saving lives i would love to hear some of your perspectives on the topic what has been your experience in the past what did you do? Do you think it's a good idea to go back to the same unit that you were once a CNA in? Let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead, uh, become a part of the family and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye.